For it was little which thou hadst before I came, and it hath increased abundantly. And the Lord hath blessed thee whithersoever I turned. And now when shall I provide for mine own house also? And he said, What shall I give thee? And Jacob said, Thou shalt not give me aught. If thou wilt do this thing for me, I will again feed thy flock and keep it. I will pass through all thy flock today, removing from thence every speckled and spotted one, and every dark one among the sheep, and the spotted and speckled among the goats, and of such shall be my hire. So shall my righteousness witness against me hereafter, when thou shalt come to look over my hire that is before thee, every one that is not speckled and spotted among the goats, and dark among the sheep, that it found with me shall be counted stolen. And Laban said, Behold, what it might be according to thy word. And he removed that day the he-goats that were streaked and spotted, and all the she-goats that were speckled and spotted, every one that had white in it, and all the dark ones among the sheep, and gave them into the hand of his sons. And he set three days' journey betwixt himself and Jacob. And Jacob fed the rest of Laban's flocks. And Jacob took him rods of fresh poplar, and of the almond and of the plane tree, and peeled white streaks in them, making the white appear which was in the rods. And he set the rods which he had peeled over against the flocks in the gutters and the watering troughs where the flocks came to drink, and they conceived when they came to drink. And the flocks conceived at the sight of the rods, and the flocks brought forth streaked, speckled, and spotted. And Jacob separated the lambs, he also set the faces of the flocks toward the streaked and all the dark in the flock of Laban, and put his own droves apart, and put them not unto Laban's flock. And it came to pass, whensoever the stronger of the flock did conceive, that Jacob laid the rods before the eyes of the flock in the gutters, that they might conceive among the rods. But when the flock were feeble, he put them not in, so the feeble were Laban's, and the stronger Jacob's. And the man increased exceedingly, and had large flocks, and made servants and men servants, and camels and asses. And he heard the words of Laban's sons, saying, Jacob hath taken away all that was our father's, and of that which was our father's hath he gotten all this wealth. And Jacob beheld the countenance of Laban, and, behold, it was not toward him as before time. And the Lord said unto Jacob, Return unto the land of thy fathers and to thy kindred, and I will be with thee. And Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah to the field unto his flock, and said unto them, I see your father's countenance, that it is not toward me as before time, but the God of my father hath been with me. And you know that with all my power I have served your father. And your father hath mocked me, and changed my wages ten times, but God suffered him not to hurt me. If he said thus, The speckled shall be thy wages, then all the flock bore speckled, and if he said thus, The streaked shall be thy wages, then bore all the flock streaked. Thus God hath taken away the cattle of your father, and given them to me. And it came to pass at the time that the flock conceived, that I lifted up mine eyes, and saw in a dream, and behold, the he-goats which leaped upon the flock were streaked, speckled, and grizzled. And the angel of God said unto me in the dream, Jacob, and I said, Here am I. And he said, Lift up now thine eyes, and see, all the he-goats which leap upon the flock are streaked, speckled, and grizzled, for I have seen all that Laban doeth unto thee. I am the God of Bethel, where thou didst anoint a pillar, where thou didst vow a vow unto me. Now arise, get thee out from this land, and return unto the land of thy nativity. And Rachel and Leah answered and said unto him, Is there yet any portion or inheritance for us in our father's house? Are we not accounted by him strangers? For he hath sold us, and hath also quite devoured our price. For all the riches which God hath taken away from our father, that is ours and our children's. Now then, whatsoever God hath said unto thee, do. Then Jacob rose up, and set his sons and his wives upon the camels. And he carried away all his cattle, and all his substance which he had gathered, the cattle of his getting, which he had gathered in Padanaram, 
to go to Isaac his father unto the land of Canaan. Now Laban was gone to shear his sheep, and Rachel stole the teraphim that were her father's. And Jacob outwitted Laban the Aramean, in that he told him not that he fled. So he fled with all that he had, and he rose up, and passed over the river, and set his face toward the mountain of Gilead. And it was told Laban on the third day that Jacob was fled. And he took his brethren with him, and pursued after him seven days' journey, and he overtook him in the mountain of Gilead. And God came to Laban the Aramean in a dream of the night, and said unto him, Take heed to thyself that thou speak not to Jacob either good or bad. And Laban came up with Jacob. Now Jacob had pitched his tent in the mountain, and Laban with his brethren pitched in the mountain of Gilead. And Laban said to Jacob, What hast thou done, that thou hast outwitted me, and carried away my daughters as though captives of the sword? Wherefore didst thou flee secretly, and outweep me, and didst not tell me, that I might have sent thee away with mirth and with songs, with tabret and with harp? And didst not suffer me to kiss my sons and my daughters? Now hast thou done foolishly. It is in the power of my hand to do you hurt. But the God of your father spoke unto me yesternight, saying, Take heed to thyself that thou speak not to Jacob either good or bad. And now that thou art surely gone, because thou sore longest after thy father's house, wherefore hast thou stolen my gods? And Jacob answered and said to Laban, Because I was afraid, for I said, Lest thou shouldest take thy daughters from me by force. With whomsoever thou findest thy gods, he shall not live, before our brethren discern thou what is thine with me, and take it to thee. For Jacob knew not that Rachel had stolen them. And Laban went into Jacob's tent, and into Leah's tent, and into the tent of the two maidservants. But he found them not. And he went out of Leah's tent, and entered into Rachel's tent. Now Rachel had taken the teraphim, and put them in the saddle of the camel, and sat upon them. And Laban felt about all the tent, but found them not. And she said to her father, Let not my lord be angry that I cannot rise up before thee, for the manner of women is upon me. And he searched, but found not the teraphim. And Jacob was wroth, and strove with Laban. And Jacob answered and said to Laban, What is my trespass? What is my sin, that thou hast hotly pursued after me? Whereas thou hast felt about all my stuff, what hast thou found of all thy household stuff? Set it here before my brethren and thy brethren, that they may judge betwixt us two. These twenty years have I been with thee, thy ewes and thy she-goats have not cast their young, and the rams of thy flocks have I not eaten. That which was torn of beasts I brought not unto thee, I bore the loss of it, of my hand didst thou require it whether stolen by day or stolen by night. Thus I was, in the day the drought consumed me, and the frost by night, and my sleep fled from mine eyes. These twenty years have I been in thy house, I serve thee fourteen years for thy two daughters, and six years for thy flock, and thou hast changed my wages ten times. Except the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac, had been on my side, Surely now hadst thou sent me away empty. God hath seen mine affliction and the labor of my hands, and gave judgment yesternight. And Laban answered and said unto Jacob, The daughters are my daughters, and the children are my children, and the flocks are my flocks, and all that thou sayest is mine. And what can I do this day for these my daughters, or for their children whom they have borne? And now come, let us make a covenant, I and thou and let it be for a witness between me and thee. And Jacob took a stone, and set it up for a pillar, 